But if you want to stick around, we're going to do a little Q&A. I'll answer all your burning questions to the best of my abilities, and we will go from there. So thanks so much for stopping by. Like and subscribe, all the great stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. So my favorite part, the Q&A. Ah, this is so good. Crypto is a great hobby, MS. Yeah, it's a great hobby. Looks like 8,000. What is it? Yeah, roughly 1,000 steps a day, which isn't bad. But I mean, look, somebody had 20,000 steps in one day. Amazing. <laughs> I can't even say that. So that's a great question. Quit time says, how do you, how do you take profit when you believe in the project and don't need money in any urgency? Don't take profits. So there's a big difference. So actually, there's two, there's a couple ways to look at it. But I will tell you this. So quit time, I don't know what your specific situation is. If you're just a baller and have a lot of money, great, good for you. Or if you're just like, I don't need any money. Look, here's the thing. The rainy day is coming and it's right around the corner. This is what I always think about. I always think about, I could get injured. I could, something could happen to me and I couldn't work or you know couldn't take care of the businesses. Or something could happen to a family member uh, health-wise and we need to have that cash on hand, or uh, some kind of catastrophe could, could strike, uh, or a natural disaster, and our home needs repairs. Whatever it is, at some point, the dark days are coming. So you should always plan for those dark days. And if you do, you're gonna be a lot better out for it. So right now you say, well, I don't need any money because nothing's really going on. But I'm telling you, I am telling you right now, how many people are out there going, man, I wish I had the money to pay for this project or this opportunity or to pay for, I mean, take your pick. So for me personally, I always believe it's best to take a little bit of profits on the side and then let, uh, let the house money roll in or, you know, let it roll out. So like a good example would be you put a thousand bucks into some project, whatever, I don't know, whatever it is, that project doubles, you take your initial investment of a thousand dollars out, you let the thousand dollars ride and it's just house money. That's like the easiest way to do things. So that's it. Uh, big facts, kind of big facts, just facts. <laughs> Rob Shields Steppen. I don't Shields Steppen. I don't even like Steppen. I did a review on it. I would. I talked bad about it. If you're into Steppen, explain to me how great, how why it's great. First of all, I bought a thousand dollar NFT, and all they did was repair those stupid shoes. And then all of a sudden, people say, "Oh, well, you didn't, you didn't do the." The, the points in the right way. Or maybe you should just sell that one and get like a more expensive one, three or four thousand dollars. I'm like, that's not gonna help a lot of people. Who the heck is gonna go out there and be like, I want to get a five thousand dollar NFT, but you can make your money back, Robin, six months, not in this market. So I'm just saying, step in, not a fan. Yeah, that's right. Yes, thank you, Mullet. I am I am the king of the show. I you know, and like I understand, like, if you're gonna call me uh, a shill. All I can say is just just use the correct title. I have no problems with that. I am C -c 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 king of the show. All right. So I hope that answered your question. Let's see. Oh yeah, I just watched a video on a guy who put his. There was a video on YouTube. I sh God, I wish I could find it, but it's the guy just talking about how he put all his life savings in a Luna. And then his girlfriend was like, what should I invest into? He's like, babe, get into Luna. It's going to be awesome. And then he saw when it was going down, he's like, this is an investment of a lifetime because it's never going to go to zero, right? And he told his girlfriend to put all the money in. And then he was at his conference in Vegas. And he, like, the next day he woke up, all his money was gone. I was like, that's sad. So, yeah, take profits. No, I shave my beard, and that's usually what gets me. Uh... Here's a great question. Rob, what's your take on Ethereum's transition 2.0? Will it affect a DeFi crypto like Kava? Will interest rate hikes have an effect on the crypto DeFi industry? So interest rate hikes will have an effect on everybody. It doesn't matter if it's if it's uh, DeFi or, or just a regular token or, I mean, take your pick or an Oracle. It doesn't matter. It's going to affect all of us because... And I know people will say, well, it's it's priced in. I don't believe it's priced in all the time. And it just depends. If Jerome, if Jay Powell comes out, I want to say June 13th or 14th, and they say, hey, guess what? Instead of half of basis points, it's going to be 0.75. We're going to see a big a big tumble. So, yeah. And as far as like, what's your take on Ethereum's transition to 
I got to tell you, I'm going to, the reason why I go, I'm going to consensus uh, is I want to see just how exuberant the, everything's going on with Ethereum. I mean, I got to, to me, I think, and, and, and we've seen this with, with Vitalik, he seems a little bit rattled. I mean, a little bit, but I would be too if I had to transfer a whole proof of work over a proof of stake. It's like changing the, changing your car's engine while it's driving. Um, just seems extremely hard. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. How will I affect it? Could be a buy the rumor, sell the news. And remember, this doesn't totally upgrade it to uh, proof of stake. This is just, the, the merge is just the second part. Sharding is the last step. And that doesn't happen for, take your pick, I don't know. And it's not going to decrease uh, gas fees. So I don't see the big deal. Or maybe I'm missing it. So that's it. There's a lot of holding XP. I do own some XRP still because you never know. Uh, how many projects? Why are so many products not available to U.S. citizens at launch? Because the government hates us. Don't you understand? No, nah, I'm just kidding. They don't hate us. They despise us. No, so it's because there's regulatory uncertainty. That's why. That's why I'm always complaining that we need regulatory clarity. And everybody boos me down because they're like, no, we don't need any regulation. And then and F this and F them and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, look, if we just have a little bit of clarity and we know exactly what is a commodity, what is a security, what is a currency, and what is property, maybe we can move forward and then we can actually do some cool, cool stuff like Sweatcoin. That's all I'm asking for. It's not a big deal. Uh, of course, people will say, well, you know, give them an inch, take a mile. Yes, I get it. Of course, the government's going to screw up. They're not perfect. They're still made of people, I'm pretty sure. So look, we'll deal with it as it comes in. Tell me the rules of the game so I can bend the rules to my whim. <laughs> That's it. Ah. Oh, here's a great ah, alchemist, my man. Tokenized real estate. That's right. But this one. So Rob, what's your thoughts on the sweat unlock and token dumpage? That's a great question. And we do, we do lockups and dumpage uh, usually every video the last four or five times, but I didn't do it this one. So I just got a look at the tokenomics today. And I will just tell everybody, just between us, it looks fantastic. And you know the... I've got another channel, Dan Degen, and I've only done three projects that I would recommend. And the first one was Genso Kishi. Did pretty well, right? It's still, it's still like the best performing uh, asset in my entire portfolio, still. And that was just in December. Everdome, not too bad. Went up to like 13 cents, went down to 7 cents. Not a lot of dumping because the lockup periods were long. And Fame MMA. And that one did go up and did go down. Went up to 45 cents. And now I think it's hovering around 10 or 11 cents. But still, not too bad. And the thing that I always focus on is will it make the cut? What's the community? How big is it? What does it do, the utility? What's the team? Where are they from? And the tokenomics. And I look specifically at what are the lockup periods and who's going to dump on me? Because I'm always afraid of that. That's what drives me. Fear drives me. And uh, when I took a look at it on this one, it's good, and I will talk about it on Dan Degen channel. I will not do the review on this channel. This is not the channel for that. This is the channel for straight-laced, decent advice, or I shouldn't say advice, decent uh, stories about what I'm doing. I can't give you any advice. And uh, that's it. I don't, now the other one, Dan Degen, I say specifically, if you want to lose all your money, go over there, because these are super risky. But so far we haven't. What? Oh, okay. So here's from a, from a fellow vet. Rob, from one vet, I'm trying to completely retire by the end of my 20. He's talking about his uh, time in service. I've got 11 to go. Well, that's pretty good. Did nine. I'll be 38. Okay. For my crypto to get me to the age I can use my... So look, pumped up gaming. You got 11 years. You got 11 years. That's huge. I mean... Oh. I will tell you this, if it was me, this would be the best time for me personally, this is the time to invest. I think there's going to be more of a, I mean, if you just look at the four-year cycles, we talk about this to death. I think there's some more downside coming. I do believe that, but I know that it's a natural cycle. Just like we talked about with that book, 
Uh, this time it's different. It's not different. It's going to be the same thing. It just could be a little bit longer. So if you had 11, oh, Jesus, 11 years, you could do a lot uh, in that time. And all you got to do is not go crazy and do a bunch of leverage plays, unless you're into that and you know exactly what you're doing. I can't stop you. I'm not your dad. But uh, it is a for 11 years to dollar cost average, all you got to do is take a look. And if you want to be safe, like safe, safe, just take a look at the different projects that have been around and which ones you think will still be around. So take a look at the cut. What's the community? How big is it? What's the utility? What does it do? Is something different? How's the team? What are they done? Where are they going? And how the tokenomics might get dumped on uh, pretty bad. And that would lead me to take a look at this. And when I say like, take a look at things that have been around, it's the same thing for what I talked about in a couple of videos ago, which was, if we take a look at the internet back in the day, do you notice just a couple of projects that just keep hanging around and hanging around and hanging around and do pretty well? I'm not, I mean, obviously, Amazon did okay. Uh, Yahoo dropped off, even though it was top at one point. But Google's down there somewhere. Disney's down there. Apple in 2008. Apple, Apple, Apple. Google, Facebook, Microsoft. Microsoft was for the whole time. So for me, longevity. Look at the ones that have been battle tested and then go into that one. Okay. So yeah, I think to, you don't have to go hard. Personally, I wouldn't go super hard, especially right now, because I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Do you have a checklist? Yeah, just, you know what? Go over to Dan Degen and watch any of those videos, the, those first three I talked about. You'll see my process the whole way through. And I'll just tell you exactly, and just the same thing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Worthwhile assets only gain value. Just God, the rest of America doesn't know the value here yet. Look, there's a lot of reasons why people don't invest because they don't know how to invest. And that's it. And let's see. Hello. My dog came to see me. Uh, let's see. And thoughts, I don't know, NXNO. Thoughts on XRP, Doge, ADA? Yeah. I don't have any Doge, though. I got a lot of Cardano and a decent amount of XRP. That's it. And that's, let's see. And that's all we got. Great. I did my job. Oh, okay, one more. So Ace Davis, because a good point, we have to believe in rights to property. Regulation is recognition of our serfdom. I understand your reasoning. Just don't see our masters ever doing anything that is our interest. I will say this. I mean, there has been times when regulation was pretty much of a good thing. Uh, there's this thing called OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Act. Yeah, this was in the 1960s. And the reason why they enacted that is because people kept dying on the job. And then, of course, there was uh, high cancer rates because, you know, these, these corporations were like, well, we can't prove it was, it was us that caused this. I mean, I didn't tell you to breathe in all that asbestos, so on and so forth. So, I mean, that helped a lot to keep people alive and at least a little bit healthy. So there was that part. And then, of course, I always like to say Law 230, which allowed the Internet to flourish because – when you have these, these uh, websites and they would say, hey, I don't want to get sued for libel or slander, libel, because that's what it's written, uh, from what people write down in these, in, in, you know, for these blog posts, even though I'm hosting it and or things that are said on there. So how do we rectify that? Okay, Law 230. You won't get sued. And that's what gave rise to a lot of these different uh, organizations. So. Ah, and that's it. <laughs> no Lambo for you. Who needs a Lambo? I have a 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan, black. Mullet has ridden in it. It's the sweetest ride of all time. Super comfortable. And it's paid off. <laughs> who, needs, who needs a Lambo? I got stuff to do. And I also have a Dodge Ram truck. So, I mean, look, I don't need a Lambo. Those are dumb. And that's it. So look, everybody, thanks so much for stopping by today. I appreciate it. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. All things to talk about are time sensitive. 
And thanks for sticking around for the Q&A. I do appreciate you guys. And that's it for today. So thanks so much. And I'll see you on the next one.